to catch up with you, Dave. A great weekend for you in a game that you, you dominated and another one that you've come from behind in as well. I think at the moment, again, your side showing some real good traits about them. I think if you win games of football, you're always going to look at it in a positive light. Likewise, if you if you lose games of football, you're always going to highlight the the, the flaws or the perceived flaws. So, we've, we've, I think we've come from behind in the last three league games. Took seven points, undefeated in them three. So yeah, of course it's easy to look at all the all the positives. However, we're not getting carried away at all. Um, you know, it's. It's a step in the right direction. As soon as people were saying, "Oh, don't come from behind, bang, put that to bed," um, you know, and that's that's what you have to do. You have to you have to progress like that as a team, and there's still a long way to go. Just just your own view, because you've been in the game, and ha it's happened to you, and I think you've done it as well on a personal note. Last minute winners, injury time winners, when you have dominated a game, what does it do for the mentality of the team and the players? I've said it before. I think some some victories are sort of like three plus points, if you like. Some defeats aren't aren't just zero. The sort of stingers, and they last a bit longer. Um, I'm, I'm not sure where that was for Northampton's case, um, but certainly when you when you win in the last minute, you know, Oldham last year, for example, um, they, they're just they're just that little bit more important. Um, and like I said, them defeats where you're losing the last minute, sometimes come Monday afternoon, you still haven't got over it. Um, as opposed to some, you, you, you're out of your system by, by Sunday lunchtime, Sunday tea time kind of thing. So you, you've, got to, you've got to move on quickly. Certainly that's win, win lose or draw. And, and it's no different for us. Yeah, it helps that we won the game and, and deservedly so. However, from my point of view, it shouldn't have taken to the last minute. And it shouldn't have been by one. So I, I don't want to leave it. You know, it's great for the fans. It's great that the fans saw it. You know, it's brilliant from an entertainment point of view. And we're, we're in the entertainment industry. But I'd much rather have a 4 1 win that's done and dusted with 20 minutes to go. And, and people aren't um, cheering when they shouldn't be cheering or whatever. Um, they did at the final, you know, when the goal went in kind of thing. So, there's, like I said, there's work to be done for us, definitely. You made three changes to your team that, that started on Saturday. You must be delighted with those options that you've got, especially as well. You've got two or three players, you know, key players unavailable in your squad. So, the options are there for you. Yeah, we, you know, obviously, with Donovan, Callum and, and Josh being out for a while, that doesn't help. Um, but we have got enough depth in our squad to make subtle changes, different changes. You know, um, the way we set up was different on Saturday compared to normal, which was a very subtle change, but it was. Um, and we felt that it, we got to grips with it. Certainly after about 25 minutes, we started turning the screw after after that point. So, you know, then. then that's that's credit to the players and how they, you know, we can ask them to play in a certain way or in certain positions, but they've actually got to go and deliver it, and we can give them as much help as we as we can throughout the week. Um, when push comes to shove, it's Saturday afternoon at three o'clock or or Tuesday nights, um, and they deserve huge credit. And in the minute we've got a few good players, or lots of good players, but a, a few that aren't even in the team. Um, you know, we was missing Chris Porter Saturday, and it, I'm not sure it's even been mentioned, which shows where we're at as an attacking team, if you like, and how we went about our business. But obviously, for me, he's a big miss. So it's, uh, you know, like I say, it's, it's pleasing, really. Your football at times, not just on Saturday, but quite a lot of occasions this season has been beyond the League One level as well, there's no doubt about that, and the amount of chances that you're creating. I know you'll be disappointed if probably haven't been as clinical as you would have liked, but as a set of manager and coaches that you've got, you must be really satisfied when it when it's when you see performances like that, what you're getting. 
Yeah, yeah, on one hand, no on the other. Like I said to you before, if that game's 4 1, I'm happy. 5 1. It was 2 1, last kick of the game. That's not, you know, I don't know what the ratio of goals to chances were, but it wasn't good enough. You know, there's, there's two or three players that have probably had a, a couple of chances each. Well, that's six chances. And Ryan scored in the last, you know, virtually the last kick of the game. That's not a good enough return for me for where we need to be and where we want to be. So until that improves, we won't win as many games as we should. However, we play between the two boxes. Uh, on, on the other hand, we get them chances because of how we play between the two boxes. So one bit's fine, the other bit's got to improve. And and said to him after the game, if we don't improve that that goals to chances ratio, you won't achieve what you should achieve and, and win the games that you should win. So and we, we've already experienced that, Gillingham and Ipswich being the two best examples this year that we both lost, we lost them both 1-0. So when we dominated both games, literally from start to finish. So, you know, there's areas to, areas to improve and we've still got that to address and, and that's still a work in progress. What, could, what do you think this group can achieve? I know here we go again, it's getting towards January and fingers crossed it, it, nothing develops for you unless you get the, the massive uh, transfer fee that comes in. But working with the players, if you could keep them together, what, what could it achieve, do you think? We don't really think about that, to be honest. We're just saying, look, let's keep improving, let's get better as a group, myself, Kenny, the staff. We're all in the same boat. We're all improving, we're all getting better. You know, some of the lads have been in the first team three or four years. I've been manager nearly four years. Kenny's been assistant nearly four years. We're all, we're all in this on the same journey. Let's keep getting better. Let's see where it takes us. As Del Boy said, the world's as lobster. <laughs> Well, we talked a lot and then they'll build up, of course, at the weekend towards what was going on with the fans coming back. They did have an effect on the game. There's no doubt about it. It was terrific to see. Fingers crossed they come back on Tuesday night as well because, again, they could play a part. You're the home team. Yeah, I think anybody who come on Saturday, I'd be shocked if they couldn't, if they chose not to come on uh, tomorrow night, that's for sure. Um, because... I'm pretty certain they were they went home happy, happy with the result, happy with the performance, happy how their team played. Obviously, happy to be in the ground and a part of it again, or all, all the the COVID stuff. But I think what they actually saw, you know, to use your words, was probably above the level. So we've got to we've got to strive to be like that every game between each box, and then even better in each box. Well, Plymouth are those next opponents. They came up with you as well. And, uh, of course, there's, there's plenty of connections there, isn't there? Management team and it, in the team. It just adds that little extra spice. Yeah. We, we know plenty about them, as I'm sure they know plenty about us. So, um, you know, they, they're on a, a poor run at the minute, having lost five on the spin. But I don't think that's reflective totally in their performances. Um you know, they've, they've got some good players and a couple of early goals from set pieces on Saturday killed them, but they should have scored some goals themselves and they end up losing 3-0 and it wasn't a 3-0 game. And I think I've said that before after some of our defeats, um, but I'm saying it for Lowy now. Um, and, and it wasn't a 3-0 game. Um, but like I said, when you get, I think, like I said, five on the spin, you know, there's you've got to make sure that you try and snap out of it. Um, and we've got to do everything we can to, to keep them in that run. So, it'll be a tough game. We've got some good players we know. Like I said, you know, George and Byron especially. Um, Connor Grant, who was here on loan. You know, they've got some good players. We've got to make sure that their poor run continues.